Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now, the button below. When you want to ask questions, inshaAllah, reminder always that help me at nurmuhammad.com. We uh, open up the lines for questions and emails to learn more from the subjects that have already been taught. The adab of questions is not to challenge, to debate, there's no debate, but to ask questions on subjects that have been taught for further understandings or issues within our lives. In the open forum, again the questions related to the teachings. And, and not to impress the other people that you have very complicated questions that nobody can even understand. Keep everything please down to earth so that the general audience understands everything, inshaAllah. Sayyidi, how much is the qurban this year and is it best to give to Fatima Zahra? <laughs> you make that one up yourself? No, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's on the on the website, inshaAllah. So they have all the the listings for the qurban and, and give to the qurban wherever you want to give it, inshaAllah. Wherever your heart wants to give it, inshaAllah. But this is a season for the qurban, and that's the reality of the qurban, inshaAllah. Sayyidi, how can we increase love for our murshid? Inshaallah. Keep your salawats, keep the practices, inshaAllah all of these energy practices, all of these teachings that they're giving is to increase that love for Sayyidina Muhammad and the ihtiram they have for those whom teaching that love. So their knowledges, their fayas, their zikrs, all of that builds that relationship and when that relationship begins to enter into the heart then the student begins to feel that attraction and feel that fires. Try not to bounce around, we said before many times this is a path based on loyalty. If you're clicking around to a hundred different people, listening to a hundred different talks then nobody knows you and you think you know 50 shaykhs but you have to develop a relationship with one shaykh. Find the shaykh that your heart resonates with and develop that relationship, inshaAllah. Sayyidi, what should we do to get ourselves pre prepared for in these difficult times? Should we increase our skills which we have or stop everything and practice only zikr and daily practices? No, you have to live in the world inshaAllah as if it's going forever and pray all night as if the world is ending tomorrow. So means that we have to keep a balanced life of working hard, paying our bills and Allah wants the balance, wants the struggle. It's not about trying to find the easy way, it's the hard way in which people work, struggle throughout the day and at night they come to trying to find a balance, a time to meditate, a time to be with their children, trying to be with their family and keep that balance, make a time, time management to do your awrad. Everything is a discipline. When people say they don't have time to do their zikr and their awrad, no they just don't have good time management. Everybody has a time in which they're driving on a bus that they can split their zikr at one point and then split the zikr driving home or on a bus going home. So it's about managing your time if it's something that you truly care and truly you love. And then you discipline yourself when everyone goes to sleep, I'm going to spend a little bit of time meditating. And that way I can achieve what I have to achieve inshaAllah. <clears throat> Sayyidi, how can one battle with his thoughts to keep his focus on the prayer and not focus on irrelevant thoughts? Yeah, all of these are the inshaAllah and shaitan is rahman rahim is the energy talk. We talked the other night and I think that the, the depth of, of energy understanding is a little bit simplified to people. Especially Muslims they think, oh we make salah, say, why you don't just talk about the salah? Why don't you just talk about this or talk about Islamic terminology? But in reality that if we don't understand energy, 
And that's why then these awliya and those whom taught by awliyaullah everything is based on a qudra because this is the common denominator of every issue and every problem we have. If somebody calls and says that they can't pray, they don't have the ability to pray anymore, that they don't feel like praying and it can go so bad that if they try to make sujood something will burn them from making the sujood. Means that can you describe that by salah and force the person, go make wudu and now pray. So they can't. If you think that your salah is going to save you and take away sayyata amalina <laughs> and take away your sayyat, you don't understand what's happening. So means that when you sin through your action, you lost the protection that Allah has given. As a result, ten ifrit have jumped into you. They're around, billions and billions of ifrit are all around us. As soon as you sin, your shield of protection is down. For example, ten of them enter into your being. These ten when they enter into your being, they begin to change your appetite, change your desires, change your characteristics because they're not you and they're from shaitan. They want to watch different things, they want to look at different things, they want to talk different, they want to hear different things because they're occupying you. And the last thing they want is your wudu, your salah, your zikr and any of your practices. So they sit within you and keep pushing all of your control panels, don't pray now, close the ears, they cover the ears, they make everything distracted, look at your phone, you missed your salah, ten more now can come. Because now your sayyata amalina, <laughs> your actions, <laughs> the sense of actions, whoo, is open the door. Not they're not even open, some people have like revolving door. <laughs> it's never closed, just oh. What happens then? They're coming in in such a force, they overtake that insan. And if they overtake, they will not pray. And if you see these homeless people, if you try to wash them, they'll burn and scream. Why? Because they're free in them, don't want water. They're scared to death of water because they're gonna burn. So it means this is very real, the energy comes into insan and overtakes them. If you understood that energy and that energy has overtaken somebody, then why would you guide them to go make your salah? Now force the person go make the salah. That's not gonna help. They don't have that energy ability to do that. What's inside them has now overtaken them. So then what helps? Why Allah then says, Itaqullah wa kunum ma asadiqeen. If Allah knows that, the energy reality and says that have a consciousness and keep the company of these truthful servants. Why keep their company? Because Allah knows. Because these people are Ahlul Dhikr. These people Allah has dressed them with energies. These people the energies are so powerful that Allah want you go and be with them. Because the mere moving towards their presence, their energy will begin to burn everything inside that person because it can't escape their nazar. Their energy is not a physical energy, their energy is from the soul. When their soul energy begins to direct to you it's like a laser, it goes inside everything of your being and dressing everything inside of you. Their, la their, their light is not s sticking on the outside of you. Their light that Allah when Allah says, what's it? Be, be conscious of the firasal of the believer. Why? Because they look with the light of Allah What's the light of Allah It's a fire, it's not a pleasant light where devils enjoy it, it burns them. And that's why devils try to pull the eyes of people out. They don't want to see an eyes of people. That's when you go to bad neighborhoods and say, what are you looking at? Who's saying that to you? Is their devil. The devil is saying that his eyes are burning us, don't look at his eyes. 
But when Allah addresses awliya and those whom follow awliya and those whom love Sayyidina Muhammad their eye is like fire coming out onto these devils. So when they look and they gaze at somebody their fire goes and begin to burn everything in that person. And that's why then their devils and their jinn they stay outside, very far outside. And that's why everybody come peaceful into the zikr, some go a little bit crazy when things are trying to leave them. They stay peaceful until you get in your car. When you get in your car and go down the block where he's waiting for you, then all your waswas comes, ah why'd he do like that, why'd they serve our dinner late, why was it like this, do you know they took my tea away from me? Because he was waiting there. He caught you when you were coming out the way, he didn't wait in here and do that. So I mean no, energy is very real. So when their, their gaze and their association we said before, now imagine if that shaykh is like that or his students are dressed by his nazar and the madad of the center and the zikr locations all their madad is coming down. When their madad comes down they're like uh, swords of light, there's nothing going to escape this room without being cleaned. And we described before that when you watch live turn the sound on because their light and their madad will come into the home, the zikr will enter the home from Buddala, Nujaba, Nuqab, Awtad, Wal Akhyar, Jinn, Wal Ins, wa ma, Jinn, Wal Malaika. Seven categories of spiritual beings enter into the home. To do what? To begin now the cleansing within that home and all the zikr that they're playing. To again attack anything that's coming, any type of energies that are coming they're cleansing and that's the purpose of why they're doing what they're doing. So it means no Allah has many remedies and that's why Prophet described that when you see a circle of paradise don't leave it. Now where are all the paradise people? They say there's like thousand mosques and ten thousand, fifty thousand worshippers, then they won't paradise. Circles of zikr have ten people in them, something's off. What happened to the people who wanted paradise? And then paradise has a fire and a power against shaitan. So when Allah is saying, this is a circle of paradise and my malaika are all around all the way till Arsh rahman you don't think they have like a fire from Divinely Presence cleansing and, and burning and destroying everything that's wrong? The malaika of paradise they don't accept any falsehood, they don't accept the badness. They come and they cleanse and wash and clean everything. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding inshaAllah bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Thank you very much. Click the link now to subscribe.